let's go back to the employee. So another way we could define payments classification is as an enum. Hmm. Yeah, you have enums in Java and C Sharp, but they are very basic primitive types that are very different than enums in Swift, where you can define associated values. So here we could have the payment, the commissioned. Commissioned. Classification. And uh, hourly. Classification and the salaried. Now you could define this enum. All its types are equatable. So you can make it equatable. You could define an employee. With the classification two, there is equatable. Because all its types are equatable. So the pros here is that you get equality for free. This is all data. And you have no runtime casting because if you have an empty protocol with no methods, it means that at some point when you need to use the classification, you need to cast it to a concrete type. So let's have a look at this. You probably have something like as hmm. your affiliation, for example. Mm -hmm. When you're going to use affiliation, you need to cast it to an affiliation that you expect it to be. Otherwise, what, what should happen? Return, throw an error, crash the app. You know, you have this runtime casting, mm. which is, can be dangerous, <laughs> right? Yeah. And a way of preventing this maybe is to use a finite number of things it can be. Mm. So when you have a finite number of implementations, you can use an enum rather than a, an empty protocol. Yeah. Now, why do I say finite? Because the problem here with enums is that every time you add a new case, you need to recompile or redeploy all the modules that depend on the employee. Oh. And maybe that's not what you want hmm. because maybe you want to be able to add new classifications without redeploying the application, which I think that was the goal in the book. 